It's flattened out a bit now and we're just sort of drifting along in this sort of moonscape area. Not many trucks on the road today. Even narrow big signs showing the way to the showing the way to Africa. Well, the ferry is to Africa. Mm -hmm. A lot of foreign trucks down here, but then it's a fruit area, isn't it? So we're a long way from anywhere here. Top tip. Here's a little top tip. I mentioned it before, but two car ones of these. Basically, they cost me like 50p each in Tesco. Two car ones. Um, cover the windscreen quite nicely. Staple together. And when it's hot outside, and like now, so for half the day you got sun shining on the windscreen. But if he holds that one in place, what does it mean? I can't see anything! But, yeah, I better not swear. There we go. And then just shut the curtains. In place. You can instantly feel it get a bit cooler in here because the pods are now now filled up with water. Yeah. Right, I'm going to cook my um, steak now. My enormous half a kilo steak. I don't know why I'm licking that. And uh, I'm going to have some some asparagus top tip with steaks and stuff is to leave them out um, for a few hours beforehand so they're at room temperature so they cook properly because if they're icy cold it's hard to have uh, cook even you know and now I'm gonna continue watching House of Cards which is one of the best things I've ever seen I keep calling it television but effectively it's not actually television because it's never been shown on television it's um Netflix but um, it's brilliant. It's one of the best things I've ever seen. I've been watching Breaking Bad as well, which is very good. But I think Break House of Cards is better. But to me, I'm a politics fanatic. So I'm going to cook it out. Good day to you. Monday! Missed out Sunday. I spent most of Sunday in bed reading and uh, listening to the radio. I woke up this morning to the sound of a petty patter of rain. Spent Saturday cleaning the lorry is slightly annoying, although it stops and the road does look pretty dry out there. So, uh, mm hmm. Oh, and creatures have eaten my um, bits of fat. Look at this, 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 this fucking disgusts me. The bin is over there. I know that because I've made several trips to it myself. Yet, yeah, let people just stop here and lob it out the bloody window. There's a blackbird. Hola! Hola! So, um, I'm just going to cook breakfast now, shortly, in about an hour. I've had 45 off. Um, so then we'll be on our way to the pack house to load fruit! Fruit! I have an omelette today. I'm feeling cheese deprived. I haven't had cheese in ages. I've got bread too. I'll have to eat bread. Mm, look at that beautiful egg. I think so, did they're egg. I'm just having a bacon on, um, on um, bread. That man hitchhiking over there is, um, why did it focus? He's on the verge of um, jumping out in front of cars. <laughs> he did uh, stop hassling with his hand at one point. I'll run him over, what do you think, Bertie? No passengers? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Where's my breakfast? You've had it. No, I haven't. I was asleep. So I go for the good lady going over on Saturday. She's all nice and shiny now. But uh, thankfully the road is fairly dry now. Oh no, look at that. I'm just going to go and have a look in the back, make sure no tramps have moved in. Unfortunately, the trailer is still filthy. 
we're off. Spain wants you to put areas into your um, back home. Right, let's go! Ooh. In and out of the kitchen, this is brilliant. On Radio 4, 11.30 on Monday, so I'm going to be over by the time this video comes out. Everything all right? Uh, yes, she's very well, I think. So why was she running? Well, she's, uh, well, she's worried about my father. Uh, what's he doing? He's gone on a silent retreat. <laughs> That's so bad idea. Charming. Well, for him, I mean. Oh, sorry, I thought you'd be rude. Yes, I was. Yes, I'd be rude like a mother. Ah, not you. I, I see. You find my mother noisy? <laughs> well, she's not noisy. So oh. she, well, she... Arabic signs for Morocco. Various to Morocco. What is it? Your mother? Can you oh, stay? fuck. I, I want to go down there. Bollocks. Not concentrating. Lovely. <laughs> I would actually have to see her very much. Anyway. Have you been doing any correspondence <laughs> courses of hospitality? These are all such charming things <laughs> to say. <laughs> <laughs> you open That's okay. We made it. Uh, well, uh, you may or may not remember this, Anthony, but it's actually a pedal bin. Sorry for swearing. Yes. Yes, well, the pedal is made of... But I've always, well, since my early twenties at any rate, been a fan of this one, involving peas. <laughs> For this you will need risotto oh, rice, around 14 ounces, an onion, chopped finely, a pair of garlic cloves, also chopped finely, a small glass of white wine, or a big one you've already had a sip of, something like two and a half pints of chicken stock, hot, a pound of fresh peas. Interesting landscape here. This is fruit country, certainly, uh, every... Another lorry on the road seems to be, uh, like every other lorry, nearly every lorry seems to be a fridge. And just got a text message saying the product's ready. Do, do, do. So that means we should get loaded straight away. Yes! And then bounce on up. It's more than two days' drive to any ferry port. I don't know whether they'd consider. Uh, Looking at times, you could, I could get uh, some LD lines out of Gijon that would take me straight to Ireland, but then you have to get off for 10 hours in Saint Nazaire. So, depending on cost, it might be easier just to drive to Saint Nazaire. That leaves on Tuesday from Gijon. Gijon? Gijon? Or Gijon, probably. I don't pronounce a J in Spanish, dear, so it's Gijon. Um, I imagine it'll be a direct boat of some sort. Uh, Irish ferries is all over the place at the moment because it's maintenance time. I don't know. I don't know what the option's got to be. If I had my way, I'd get the sad the Brittany Ferris to pool and that'd get me in for Thursday and then I'd be in Ireland for Friday morning, but that would be the most expensive route probably, so that's probably not going to happen. Governor. Whoop, whoop. I was remembering how uh, years ago, before sat labs and stuff, how we found anywhere. <laughs> I used to be quite good at finding places as well, actually. Be fair, but um, like for instance, this road barely exists on my sat nav, certainly not named. So I just put it in my phone and uh, I'll pick pups, and then you can look at the uh, satellite view so you can see the building there. Um, I love technology, and on Nokia phones, you can um, comes with a free sat nav, and you can download any maps. Most of the world is covered as well, um, which is amazing. I'm looking for a place called Alima. There were the traffic police checking trucks back there, which was got a terrible reputation of Spanish. Leave it down here, on the left, somewhere. I think that's it over there. Right, Bertie? No. Why are these roads so rough? Bloody Spain. Why are we doing Spain? I don't know. There it is. There it is, Bertie. I know, I can see it. You're the driver, you find it. Idiot. No, oh, hang on. <laughs> There's a little dog. There's a rather cute little dog, too. Except I haven't got any food. Should have bought some food the other day. Hello, little dog. <laughs> There's three lorries here. Dogs always seem to come to me. 
Maybe they can sense I'm a dog person. I gave the little dog some bacon. That's half a pack of bacon I've given stray dogs in Spain this trip. Sorry, no more, otherwise I've got no breakfast. Bye! Alright, we're going. Like, I managed to time this really badly and got here just as they were going on lunch. So, uh, I've been sat here for two hours. Um, just going on a bay now. So, not so bad. Imagine a little dog gets lots of fruit. I, that dog's beautiful. I would take that dog home. It's so cute. Loaded. Just gonna go and get the paperwork for tonight. It's 16:10. 40 minutes to load. That's not bad. Uh, just gonna go and get the paperwork. I've man mentioned this in another video. I've started because um, a lot of places give you extra seals in case you get stopped. So if I don't get sealed at a particular place, I seal it myself because it makes it a lot easier. Um, certainly in Calais, you have got more deniability if you sealed it at the spot and it's written on your CMR as well. And make sure you write it on before they rip their bit off because otherwise it looks like you put it on afterwards so if they did find anything sometimes they seal them they uh, cut the seal and reseal it but i got these little wire ones so they're hard to cut and reseal so anyway i'm going to go get paperwork now i bid you good day and we're off sherbourg probably 1760 kilometers away I know it says uh, a lot of the big transport companies have got places down here. In uh, the fruit, fruit and veg country. So we won't get out of Spain in nine hours. We'll be about to get to go. That drives me nuts! I like France. I hate this country. It's full of Spaniards. The Spaniards. I was a Spanish prisoner of war. Were you? The Spanish summer of war. Yes. Shut up. I don't want to talk about it. You pay for towels? This is Mercia. I'm listening to the archers. Oh my god, I'm bent. Yes. I ain't done anything to. Uh, Mayday! Mayday! I'm bent, as you can see over there, they're destroying hills. They made hills illegal in Spain because there was too many of them. So now they're having to take the hills down, unfortunately. Um, Spain's just going to be big one big flat country. Like Holland. I think it's a bit of a short-sighted um, plan myself. What with sea levels rising. But there we go. Look at that majestic yeah, view. What's left of a crate? We put all the museum stuff in boxes like that. Majestic. Museum all these hills will soon be flattened the with the new law. Cow Loring Hills. Trying to listen to uh, stuff because if I pause it, it struggles display. to come back on again. God, you don't know that. They're gone. I'm so slowly. This is rather scenic here. Some sort of castle on a hill. Stop! I want to visit. So you didn't like Spain? I don't care. I think I can see a pork chop shop. We need chop pork chops. You've only got two left. And they're for my tea. Look at my dead head. We're up in the hills now and it's gone all misty. Misty woo! It's cool, it's seven degrees. 1,598 kilometers from uh, Cherbourg, from Celtic Link, on Wednesday night. Um, so you've got plenty of time, really. It's bleak up here, isn't it? Jesus. Oh, 
fuck, 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 fuck. Brilliant. We're stuck in traffic. It's not moving very fast either. Oh. And it's quarter past eight at night, so where are all these people going? Be it, why aren't you at home, people? Why aren't you at home? Well, there's mostly trucks, to be fair. This is doing my effing head in now. Um, it's stuck in this bollocks for over an hour. <sighs> Bloody Spain and its stupid fucking roads. Cars are sailing past. Don't know where they're going. They must be just sort of evaporating into a tra teleporter hole at the end or something. We're going through a wormhole into another universe. God, what a waste of time this has turned out to be. Well, the traffic started going again, and then it started stopping again, and now it's going again, but it looks like it's stopping up there, and I'm on the hard shoulder, along with a selection of other trucks. Um, I normally hate doing this, but the problem in Spain is there's no bloody rest areas half the time. The next rest area is like 70 kilometres away, and I'm on 4 hours 15 minutes, so I'm going to try and get half an hour here and then be on my way. Yep, it's all stopping again. So this will have to do for now. I hate doing this, but still. There we go. Needs must. Oh, stop, I want to go to Club Barris. Really, Bertie? Yes. Now I'm led to believe. I wouldn't know because, of course, I wouldn't really frequent a place with ladies of the night. They're the sort of places you pick up a lady of the night, apparently. That's why I want to go, you stupid man. You never go anywhere fun with you. You're an idiot. Um, we spent an hour and 45 minutes faffing around in traffic. Although I spent half an hour of it on a hard shoulder having a break, so... But still, too long! You have to be quite on the ball on some of these hills in France. Uh, not France, Spain in the dark. Because some of these trucks uh, go so slow. <laughs> I mean, look at the difference. Um, normally, when they're going that slow, they put their hazards on, actually. But you can zoom, zoom up behind them. You're not really concentrating. My ears have just popped. They're that high up. It's good. It's a nice road. I like this road, actually. It's normally quiet. It's very quiet, too. And in a truck like this, a piece of cake. Tuesday, Tuesday. Um, just north of Zaragoza. Zaragoza. And I'm going to eat the last pastry for breakfast. Over my dead body. That's my pastry. How dare you. Oh no, my seatbelt's come off. Put it back on. Give me that pastry. I bought those pastries with my money. All right, Bertie, calm down. No. Go and buy me a hat. I want a hat. <laughs>